drawing ray diagram for lenses. Now for drawing ray diagram for convex lens we have three rules and for uh, concave lens we also have three rules huh? and make sure that you remember the, the, the three rules uh, in drawing ray diagram but it's uh, uh, about the same as a drawing ray diagram for concave and convex mirror eh? so do, drawing ray diagram for convex lens let's start with first rule so rule number one a light ray passes through the optical centers of the lens will not be refracted so this is the optical center okay so if we have a light rays pass through the optical center so light ray passes through the optical center uh, there's there's no refractions so the light ray will go forwards not refracted not refracted sir. so this is the optical center centers that is uh, rule number one eh? rule number one light ray that passes through the optical center will straight go forwards eh? straight forwards no refractions rule number two if the light ray is parallel to the principal axis this is a principal axis the light ray parallel to the principal axis it will be refract, uh, refracted passes through the principal focus okay a light ray parallel to the principal axis of the lens will be refracted passes through the principal focus that is rule number two eh? principal axis parallels to the principal axis it will be refracted passes through the principal focus rule number three if uh, the light ray passes through the principal focus then it will be refracted parallel to the principal axis so a light ray passes through the principal focus f will be refracted parallel to the principal axis so this is the inverse of rule number two right rule number two say parallel then it will pass through principal focus L rule number three say pass through principal focus it will be parallel so these are the three rules uh, in drawing ray diagram uh, so this is a summary yeah? okay passes through optical center no refractions parallel to principal axis pass through principal focus pass through principal focus parallel to principal axis now let's see how do we draw the ray diagram okay you just need to apply two of the three rules uh, then you can draw the ray diagram and find the image yeah? the purpose that we draw the ray diagram is to find the image the positions of the image and the size of the image for example we have an object here we have an object here um, so we apply the first rule rule number one so light ray passes through the uh, optical center so no refractions okay it will move straight forwards no refractions so light ray passes through the optical centers of the lens will not be refracted huh? so that is uh, rule number one okay the second rule the light ray is parallel to the principal axis it will pass through the uh, this uh, principal focus okay rule number two and then rule number three pass through the principal focus okay it will be refracted parallel to the principal axis okay and then uh, the point the point where this light ray intersects with each others uh, is the positions of the image therefore uh, it will form an image here so since this is a, the tips of the arrow uh, so this is the tips of the arrow okay the top of the arrow uh, okay so we apply the first rule we get the first uh, line and then so let's try to uh, apply the second rule the second rule says that if the light ray the light ray is parallel to the principal axis okay okay now this is parallel to the principal axis now for those line which is parallel to to the principal axis uh you don't need to have three three points so this one you can straight away draw straight away draw the line parallel to the principal axis okay and it's according to the second rule the second rule uh if the light ray parallel to the principal axis it will be refracted passes through the principal focus right okay it will pass through this point so we have our first point here we start from here we know that our straight line will start from here and then we know that our straight line will end at here so uh, we only have two two points so if we just use these two points to draw our line it may be not accurate 
so we use a uh, rectangles okay we know that this is a rectangles this is the second rectangles right okay you need to ask the tip of the this one is not counted no because this is not in the straight line the straight line is from this point to this point this is not part of the straight line eh? it must be have three points on the straight line okay this is another straight line we have two straight lines this is one straight line here there's another straight line here so we want the three points on this straight line the straight line here so this is not counted so we use uh, this because we, we know that okay so when it from here to here okay it will you can draw two rectangles and then we know that it, it will pass through this this point okay uh, if you don't like this actually you can use this point eh? okay if you want you can draw another rectangle it's a rectangle here you can either use this point or you can use this point eh? as your guide so let's erase the rectangles okay now we have three points eh? we have three points so we can draw our straight line actually we have four points eh? so it passed through this point this point and this point okay so you need to see why this is not counted because this point is not on this straight line this point is on another straight line eh? so this is a light ray it moves forwards and then it's refracted passes through the principal focus we have a problem because uh, in previous lessons when we discussed reflections of light ray we learned that the image located at the point where the light ray intercept with each other but uh, these two light rays diverge and then um, it does not intersect with each other's that's the problem okay so if the light ray is not intersect with each other's then we have to extend the light ray backwards extend the light ray backwards huh? so the light ray okay so for this one huh? for this one we extend it we we use a ruler you can use a ruler okay to extend it backwards huh? For this one also, okay, we extend it backwards. Okay. okay. Um, again, okay, you need three points uh, to draw the light. Okay, so let's say this one we have one point, two point, three points. Uh, and this one we have one point, two point, three point. Okay. Now for those lines which is not light ray, it's just an extension of the light ray, yeah, but it's not light ray. Uh, we must use dotted line okay a dashed line yeah? so this one we use dashed line okay this is the light ray this is the light ray this tool is not the light ray we just extend it okay extend the light rays backwards so that uh, it will intercept at one point here okay so the point where these two light rays intersect is the positions of the image okay is the positions of the image so this is the image uh, let me relocate it let's use blue color okay so that is the image huh? so the light rays come from the the top of the arrow huh? so this is also the top of the arrow because students sometimes they don't know whether it should be like this it should draw like this should be draw like this or like this uh, the light ray is the top of the arrow so this must also be the top of the arrow so it cannot be this one okay then uh, we get our image so after we get our image okay then you then we can uh, then you can tell the characteristics of the image eh? okay first we need to tell whether is uh, real or virtual if you still remember what's real and virtual so real image is the image that form on the screen virtual image is the image that uh, does not form on this on the screen okay it, it form inside the screen okay now how do we know it's form or not form on the screen because you see the light ray move forwards okay yeah so the screen is here okay but the image is not here the image is somewhere behind there's no light light ray here okay so if there's no light ray here uh, even though you put a screen here you can you, you see nothing eh? so uh, this image is not on the screen okay or you can try to memorize this if this is the object the image same is at the same side of the object then it's not real 
if the image is at the other side of the object, so object on the left hand side, so the image on the right hand side, then it's real. Same side as the object, the image is not real. Eh? So if it's not real, then we say is virtual. So the image is virtual. So it's a virtual image. And then uh, it's bigger, right? The, the image is bigger than the object. So we say it's magnify. Okay, it's magnify. And then um, we can say, see that it's, it's not inverted, eh? it's upright. Okay, uh, inverted means it's like this. This is inverted. This is inverted. This is upright. The object is inverted. So, oh, sorry, the object is upright. So, it, then this will be the upright. Okay, this will be the inverted. Eh? So, the characteristics of the image is virtual, magnify, and upright. So, the applications. Okay, so these types of image eh, is used in magnifying glass. It's in magnifying glass. So let's proceed to the second case. The second case, the, the object is at the F, U equal to F. Okay, you can say the U equal to F. The distance of the object is equal to the focal length. Okay, or the object is placed exactly at the principal focus. Let's apply the first rule. The first rule tells us that uh, if the light ray passes through the optical center, it's not refracted. So our first point is here. The second point is the optical center. And the third point, okay, so let's refer to the rectangles. Huh? So we use the first rectangle, the same rectangles from this one, okay. So the third point is here. Now you, you don't need to draw the rectangles, huh? okay? Actually, you can straight away, you, when you see, okay, you can see this a rectangle here and there's a rectangle here. Straight away, you can you can plot the third points. Huh? Okay, I draw the rectangle, it's for you to, easy for you to see on here, huh? okay? You don't need to draw the rectangle. So we have three points, then we can draw the light ray. And then so we use, sol use solid line and we use arrow huh, to tell the directions of the light ray. And then we use the second rule. We apply the second rules. The light ray is uh, parallel to the principal axis. Then we need to have our three points. First point here, the second point is here, the third point is here, and uh, the last point is also here. So you have four points. Eh? So we draw the light ray. Okay. Again, it's not uh, converge. If it's not converge, we don't have uh, points of intersections then uh, we have to extend it backwards uh, this one also we extend it backwards and then we found that it's also it's also not converge okay those extended line we must use uh, dashed line eh? okay it's still parallel okay it's still parallel and uh, from the definitions of parallel line parallel line is the lines that will intersect at infinity Okay, that's the definitions of parallel line. Eh? So then we say the image form at infinity. Eh? The image is form at infinity. Okay, uh, it's virtual. It's virtual. Why? Because it's the same side as the object, eh? the image. The image is very, very far away. Okay, same side as the image. Uh, it's virtual. And then uh, it's magnified, of course. It's, it's very big, actually. Okay, and then uh, it's upright. So that is the characteristics of the image. Uh, these types of image is used in an astronomical telescope. We will discuss astronomical telescope in uh, lesson three, optical instrument. Uh, you need to memorize this, uh, the applications of the convex lens that uh, you need to memorize. So just now, uh, first case, uh, uh, the U is uh, small than F, the application is magnifying glass, okay? When the U is equal to F, the, the application is in an astronomical telescope. You must memorize this. So uh, that is the second case. Eh?
Okay, the title have mistake. Um, you can see it has mistake. Okay, actually it's uh, it's like this. Huh? the image distance is in between two f and f. Oh, sorry, the object distance. Huh? distance of object u. The u is in between two f and f. Or the the object uh, is placed in between the principal focus and the two times of the principal focus. You can we use the third rule for this? This one cannot because the third, for third rules, uh, uh, the lens is not big enough. If you want to draw the ray diagram for third rules, uh, it's here. The lens is not big enough. So we still cannot use the third rules. Okay. Uh, the Okay, now this one you can use the third rule, uh, okay? First rule, second rule, and third rule, okay? To get the image. 